Hi friends, this is Sunil Patnagar again present before you with a video on how to calculate the spindle speed of a ring frame with the help of a gearing diagram. So friends, as you are all aware that knowing the gearing di diagram of a particular machine is very important for a technician. And the importance of this is found when we are working as an engineer, as an R&D supervisor, as a manager, maintenance manager, as a production planner. Because there we are daily we are facing challenges to improve the process. Now, in earlier days, the spindle speed is driven with the help of a tin roller which is made of brass and it is extended from off end to gearing end and all the tapes, they were wrapped over the drum. So the sound was more, the heat generation was more and most of the cases, whenever the drum got damaged, then the machine stopped, the whole machine stops. Then this thin roller, it was replaced by light jockey pulley made of bakelite. They came into the picture. The heat generation was less, the sound was less, and the tapes it broken. That they can only affect four spindles. No stoppage of the machine is there. And nowadays, the stoppage of four spindle is further reduced to one spindle. That each spindle is driven by individualized motor. That is the latest development which is taking place in some of the ring frames. So why an innovation takes place? The reason is the faults, the losses which we were having with thin rover, they were removed by this individual motor drive. So, in order to understand the things, I will explain you a particular diagram, but you have to understand the basic principle. Now, in this case, normally a motor is there, then a pulley is there. And this pulley is driving tin roller pulley which is called motor pulley which is your machine pulley With the help of tape, the spindles Of the wall. So over the wall, this particular thin roller pulley, the tape is wrapped and one tap is driving four spindle with the help of bar. Now if N1 is the RPM of the motor, D1 is this, N2, D2. 
मशीन पूरे डाइट टीचर में डालती है एन थ्री डी थ्री एंड एन फोर डी फोर Now we have to move this formula. N one B one is equal to N two B two. Now here. Total RPM is known to you. The D1 is known to you. The S D2 is known to you. Then N2 can be found out from this formula. Now here, the same speed is with this. So D4. That is the spindle speed. So I want right here spindle speed in RPM is equal to n1 v1 into Now, if n1 is equal to 1440 rpm, d1 is say 4, d2 is 8, d3 is 10. G4 that is the warp diameter say one inch. These are all the inches. So our spindle speed becomes 1440 into four by eight into ten by one. So Spindle speed will be seven thousand two hundred. Now, in this case, one thing must be clear to you that if we want to increase the spindle speed, then these these are the places where we can attack. Now, normally this remains constant. Now that we are having different uh, this warp dia in order to get the different spindle speed. Now it is actually it is not the spindle speed which is limited, which is having limitation. By gears, by pulleys, we can drive the spindles very hard. But here our limitation is the traveler speed because. It burns out. It gives more end breakage after a particular spindle speed. So, friends, this is all for today. Now, in my next lecture, we will start that how we can calculate the draft if the drafting gear is known to us. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please subscribe the channel thank you